Hello. <laughs> and that is what's called pointless camera work. Right, uh, what we've been doing this morning uh, is not filming because uh, we couldn't set up a camera and swing a shovel at the same time. We've just tied this area up. It's nothing that the customer's asked for, but we just think it's going to be a better job. So we've leveled this off uh, best that we can. And then we've created a perimeter around the structure just to keep it free from any, uh, any dirt. So there's no dirt piled up against that. Uh, and also, don't forget that we uh, we laughed. Uh, you laugh out these um, the walls to keep an airflow going behind it. So it's just to keep all that nice and nice and clear, which is good. What we do as well, we're going to membrane that uh, in that weed control stuff and put some pebbles down, shingle, whatever. Only cheap. It's never going to be seen. It's not supposed to be. Uh, beautiful or anything like that it's just going to serve a nice little uh, purpose of just neatening it all up um, just for our own peace of mind more than anything as I say the customer hasn't asked for it but I think it's uh, it'll be a better job to do it and we'll, we'll go down here as well and we've also done the other side so we'll continue doing this get it all membraned and uh, we'll stone it on another day and um, we will go back over Harborn I like it to get my trails out and do a bit of brick lane lovely stay tuned in the bits Look where we are. We're back on the Arborn job for the day, or half a day. We've got a couple of jobs that need to be done before the uh, windows go in. Which hopefully, I've been told, is soon, in the next couple of weeks. What we're going to do is get this ACO drainage in. Uh, from, hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, from that corner, sloping down, all the way down into the drain which will go to the far end of that so Mark's just exposing that and then we'll get that round into that corner and then put our echo into there I've got to put a course of splits across here because weirdly these uh, doors that we're having tilt and slide isn't they Rich? tilt and slide tilt yeah. and slide they're called they don't have a sill so when we sorted out the, um, the floor height well, normally do. Basically, this job started off as uh, having bifolds here. So what I always do is sort out our finished floor level, which will be the top of our courses of um, engineering brick there, and then I leave a course out for the for the sill and the frame of the bifolds. And then by the time they're installed and the floor goes in on the inside, there's a minimal gap between the two. The threshold is uh, is as clean as possible. But here, there's no sill, so we're low. So I'm going to put a course of these splits straight away across, which will bring us up to height, which will get us out of the floor level on the inside. That all makes sense once the door's going, and we'll show you. And then over here, <laughs> top, <laughs> is, that, is that messing with your brain, isn't that? It's just lazy. And then on here, we've got to put a course of blues, a brick on edge across there because I'm going to try and emulate what the house has already got. That wall's already going. If I zoom in there, there we go. That's what I'm going to try and copy. I've got it up there as well so you'll be able to see that window. So I'm going to try and copy that or that like this. Look like that. So I'm going to course the blues across. I'm going to dye the mortar so it goes a bit darker just so it all uh, it all matches in. And then with that compo, that same compo, even though it's died, I can put across here because you'll never see that because the echo is going to go against it and then the patio will go against it. So it'll all be hidden. So there you go. Right, let's crack on. Right, all set up. It's only one course of splits. And then I'm going to have to try and make the back up with something. I'm going to see what, how it all works out. Something's got to go there as well for the uh, the frame of this this door to sit on. 
Not too sure the height of that yet, but I shall work it out. Just want to show you these. The what I use as spot boards. I know a lot of you are using the um, gator boards from Marshall, which are ridiculously priced, and they're they're too big. They're 600 by 600. I mean, it's all right if you're on site or something, but for domestic jobs, nine times out of ten, you haven't got the you haven't got the space to put a big two foot by two foot spot board down so I use these but a pack of these uh, pack of six of these they're just chopping boards inch thick solid plastic um, they're brilliant compo doesn't go off on it because it's plastic as you can imagine so yeah they're ace and they're a fraction of the price and as I will show you they are multicoloured so there you go because they're catering chopping boards so you can choose one to, to suit your mood. Right, let's go on with it. this compo now and I like to use this uh, what is it called? Silo Crease Powder Cement Colour. I'm not really advertising the um, the make, more of the fact that it's powder. I've used the liquid stuff before and it hasn't been that good. You have to put a lot in to get it to the colour that you want but this the powder stuff seems to take better. So that I'll get the lid off. There we go, so put as much of that in as we need to suit and away we go. Right, all set up. Compose all died. As best as we can do. All my bricks are cut, so all I'm going to do is lay these, give it as much overhang as I can without being able to see the hole. And I'm going to tilt it forwards like that so the water can run off it. The window's going to sit straight on that, no sill, we'll just what's called a stub sill, just sit on there 
and that'll be that. And that's all we've got to do and hopefully that then will look some a little bit like that. So it'll all match it. Right, I could set it all up, put a line on everything, but it's only 10 bricks. If I can't do 10 brick on edge free hand then I shouldn't be here. So I'll get you all set up and away we go. No. No, uh, I know a mate who has. Can recommend it. Well, it's a nice job, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's easy. One of these that it wasn't too much hassle either. beautifully straight as that is and then if you look underneath look how far that bottom is out that's because the thicknesses of the bricks are, uh, are all different so you've got to pick a side <coughs> either top or bottom obviously brick on edge you should always choose the top on something like this but it does throw it out look look at the bottom they look all over the place but tops look alright that's all you can do that's, that's what you're working with, so once the window is on, it'll take the eye off it. But I had a broken brick there, so I'll just put a piece in. So the window will come to about there, all the way across, so you'll never see a majority of these bricks. You'll just see the bit that's sticking out, and hopefully, it's emulated that a little bit, but I can but try. Now we have it, end of the day. Drainage is in, built up the threshold under the main doors, the uh, bit of effervescence coming out in the brickwork, there's a bit of TLC, get some white wine vinegar on that, 
it'll soon come off. No worries. You can see now why it's put get these bricks in before the okay drainage went in because our doors are gonna sit on there and then lip straight on over to this drainage and then once all this is patioed you can all go into that. So that's that. And then I've built that up to sort of emulate that one. And there we go, all that's done. A fence, this fence here, we think is gonna to come to about there, so we've left that bit out. Just so when the fence is in that we can just join that back up to it and finish it all off. But there we go, highest points all the way down, round the corner. And that's that. Looking forward to getting back on this job now because it's been we've been gone a while, but waiting for the glass. It's all alumin aluminium, if I can say it. All the frames are. So it's all had to come from Ireland or something, and it's all got to be shipped over and made over here. And so it's loads of reasons why there's delays. So we just had to wait. It's simple as that. So it'll be good to get back on it. Glass in, knock through. All the steels are in, as you know. Or if you don't know, you can have a look at our previous videos. And that's that. Right then, see you next time.